What? Fresh Games. I've mentioned this Eidos imprint before in the context of Shmup Legend, R-Type Final, and Classic Music Simulator Mad Maestro. The remaining three games published in that odd yellow packaging include the suggestively named Swingers Golf for the GameCube, Lagaya 2 Duel Saga for the PS2, and this thing. <laughs> Uh. Yep, that is exactly what it looks like. You're a mosquito and you fly around, tormenting the hapless Yamada family. Upon locking onto a suitably tender piece of epidermal real estate, you can land, jam your proboscis through the skin, and begin to feed by rotating the right analog stick. The speed of rotation must be kept in sync with the gauge on the left of the screen. Feed too quickly or slowly and you'll be noticed and... Well, humans are much bigger than you. Once you've collected your quota of blood for a particular stage, your top speed is recorded, and you can proceed on to the next skirmish in your campaign of blood sucking. The gameplay is very easy to grasp, and the first couple stages are mostly about learning how to fly and interact with your environment, dodging airborne insecticide and generally poltergeisting it up to make your meal get up and move, though later stages require advanced timing and several steps in order to feed effectively. There are also collectibles scattered throughout the stages, such as heart rings that increase your max HP, and EX tanks that, when all 16 are collected and filled, allow you to survive the winter and do it all again next summer. That said, no one said a mosquito's life was easy. If you're caught flying around, you'll have to evade your attacker's offensive while connecting with certain pressure points to chill them the hell out. Would you like some more? Yeah, I know. It's weird. And the strange woman who reads the pre-stage descriptions isn't much better. And the actual voice acting for the Yamada family is laughably bad. And the sounds you hear when you penetrate your target can feel... Well, like you need to be watching out for Chris Hansen and his ever-present sweet tea. This is without a doubt one of the weirdest games on the PS2, and keep in mind that's the machine that taught us what the hell a Katamari is. But as weird as it may be, there's a hell of a lot of detail in this game. From the environmental interactions down to how your mosquito flies heavier, depending on how much blood you've consumed so far. If you dig flying sims and prefer them with a side of oddness, read Pilot Wings fans, Mr. Mosquito will scratch that itch. And I kind of want to punch myself for writing that sentence. Good luck.